Our second holiday season under the shadow of COVID-19 is right around the corner. And though the pandemic isn't over and it's still important to take precautions, this year, many are vaccinated, so we're in a better starting place than we were last year. Gone are the days when we knew nothing about the coronavirus, and therefore needed to be vigilant about everything. We now know the primary way that people are infected is through exposure to respiratory fluids carrying infectious virus. Wiping down every surface at least once a day Remember when we thought we needed to use Lysol wipes to disinfect packaged groceries and takeout containers? We've since learned that the coronavirus doesn't survive well on surfaces, so there is a low risk of spread from food products or packaging. The CDC says that it's probably not necessary to do any extra disinfecting in general unless someone who has been in your home within the last 24 hours has a confirmed coronavirus infection. If you continue to clean your home regularly, easier said than done, sometimes, regular soap and detergents remove most virus particles on surfaces just fine. But if anyone in your household is more likely to get very sick from COVID-19, it doesn't hurt to clean more often. And be sure to wash your hands often. Remember when we wore gloves to use the gas pump, which we imagined hundreds of possibly infected people had touched before us. The CDC now says that for the general public, gloves are not necessary unless you are cleaning or caring for someone sick. The best way to protect yourself from germs after going out is by regularly washing your hands or using hand sanitizer. But please continue wearing your cute black gloves on your lunchtime stroll, because it's cold in California when it's under 70 degrees, and we need to stave off seasonal affective disorder now that it gets dark by 5 p.m. Remember when we thought we'd never shake hands ever again? It's still true that if someone has a coronavirus infection, coughs on their hand and shakes your hand, and then you put your hand near your nose, eyes or mouth, you might get infected. But if they aren't infected, or they don't cough on their hand, or if you wash your hands before rubbing your hands all over your face, then you should be okay. But don't feel pressure to start shaking hands again if you thought the elbow tap was so much cooler. 4. 